Hello everyone, back to another video, and in today's video, we'll be talking another short history video. And as I said, if you want to know why I was gone for long, watch the video before this on Posterdam. Anyways, and uh, this one, this is just a, a, as of course, the name of the series, Short History. It's not meant to be a complete thing. It's stuff Stubby did a couple more things, a couple more important things, even after the war and like before and stuff like that. One thing I didn't mention that's kind of important. Um, we do not know how old he was. Like, we had kind of assume how old he was, and like what he did before, but we don't know really. <clears throat> Dr. Stubby was a dog during World War One. He was a straying in Connecticut, 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 a state, and was found in 1917. And was was found by Robert Conroy, and snuck him on board when they were leaving for France. But before that, he trained with the soldiers and was made a mascot by their uh, by the commanding officer of the the, the unit. I think you, you can, if you want, <laughs> even more summed up, just. <laughs> the lot longer, a lot more I recommend watching the movie. Just saying. But before, before, before that, he trained the soldiers. When they got to Europe, he he would fight in seventeen battles and save soldiers from a gas attack, and capture a German spy. And when the war ended in nineteen eighteen, November tenth, if I'm correct, he went home with Robert Conroy. And by the end of the war, he outranked his owner and helped the Red Cross. He played football by pushing the ball around the field, but in 1926 he passed away in Conroy's arms. And you can see Stubby at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. And when Conroy's house was burned down, he ran out of it with Stubby's jacket and he gave it to the museum, according to the book I read, which there's books I have linked in the description. And gave it to the museum according to the book I read, but I don't know if it was true. Maybe it was, maybe it is, but Sergeant Stubby helped change the war for the better, basically. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff that's not in that. Like, uh, he, he got a lifetime membership to the YMCA. He got three bones a day from the YMCA, I think. He was given some medals, and you got to see some of the photos he was part of the Red Cross in. He was with, uh, um, what was the girl's name? I forget her name, but he was in a uh, photo photo shoot, shoot for, for the Red Cross. Uh, what is this? Um, so, so I can remember off the top of my head. Also, he got his name because of his short tail. He was a, a British American Bull Terrier, I think. It was like a pit bull, but... And kind of, in my opinion, cuter. Because it was because of his little tail. And by the time the war started, he was a he was a puppy. And when he joined the war. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you want to see the script or a, I guess better for what I th was thinking of saying. And with more stuff you want to learn more, it's in the uh, description. I'll see you in the next video, and keep on loving history.